Hello, Lever Fanatics. I have a question for you. Do you think you have OCD? Now, this is a, something I've been thinking about because I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos of other coffee fanatics, espresso fanatics, lever fanatics, and one of the things I notice is there's a lot of focus on keeping their machine clean. In fact, uh, I'm always impressed with how clean their machines are whenever they show their videos. And some of them have even mentioned how tedious it can be cleaning their machines, making sure everything is shiny. Now it's true, most machines, uh, especially higher end machines, are made of chrome and they're clearly fingerprint magnets and so it's, it's easy to see, uh, like owning a classic car maybe, why you'd want to uh, constantly wipe down surfaces and, and clean them. However, I wonder if I have OCD and I wonder if I can not clean this machine and actually use it for a week without cleaning it. And I'm curious how dirty it will actually get. Now I'll show you my standard cleaning procedure. So I don't actually clean it too often, but when I do, usually after making a shot, I'll just take a towel and wipe down the tray here, the drip tray surface. Um, that usually takes care of most of the mess that occurs from splattering. And maybe every week I'll wipe down the back panel, which will collect some splatter from time to time, as well as sometimes a top panel because sometimes coffee will fall off my distribution needle or tamper and get on top of here. So, um, you know, maybe unconsciously I'm, I am sort of wiping this thing down with a, with a rag or a paper towel um, after every use. So what I'm going to try is a little experiment for the next, boy, I don't know how many days I can do this. For the next, uh, shall we try five days? Uh, for the next five days, I'll probably use this machine every day, making three to four shots, um, including some decaf for my wife. Um, and let's see, let's see how dirty this machine will get. I actually don't think it'll get too dirty, but the other question is how dirty will it get before it bothers me? So um, it's possible that uh, I may have to end the video early and you know, if I can't take it anymore and wipe it down. So here's the precondition. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I just did sort of a standard cleaning. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of, of, of coffee or smudges in too many places, but it's going to be a little hard to tell. Let me try to get a closer view with the camera so you can see. Uh, so we have the surface up here at the top, um, the back panel, which I'm going to just move, move my light so you can see it. And of course the drip tray. Now I will say I am going to wipe the drip tray down uh, with a cloth because um, that's, that's what I normally do. Oh, and the other thing that I will be doing is I will of course be cleaning the shower screen in between shots. Just That's just because I don't want these things to start tasting bad. But, um, but I will be doing that. I will be rubbing this down with this brush and doing a quick wipe on the drip tray, um, but nothing else. No other cleaning, no other sprays, no other uh, wiping things down, no getting the toothbrush out. Actually, I don't have a toothbrush, but I'm sure some people do. I'm sure some people have toothbrushes that they use to clean their machines. And uh, let's see what this looks like after a uh, entire week. So today, I'll show you on my watch. It's, uh, if you can't see that, it's April 4th. So it's a Sunday. Um, and we'll check back in through the magic of, of time-lapse photography. We'll check in on every day and uh, we'll see. We'll see how dirty it gets and um, how much OCD I actually have. So stick around. We're going to be, you're, you're going to see the end result in, in, in just a few minutes. Um, but Stick around and enjoy. Okay, it is the third day. Today is April 6th, and we can take a look at the state of the Ponte Vecchio Lusso. Uh, I didn't actually clean anything, so you can see the bottom tray here has a, a bunch of marks, as you would expect from the cups. The top, actually, not too bad. A little bit of grounds uh, sprinkled on the top. Back panel actually looks pretty good. Let me try to get a better light on it so you can see. But, yep, the back panel is uh, pretty clean. All right, 
Well, this was uh, the third day, so we'll come back again on the 8th and see where we stand. Well, it is now April 9th, Friday. So it's been five days since we started this little experiment. And as you can see, as I pan across the machine, it's definitely got a little more spots. I'm not sure if it's gonna show up as well on the camera, but there's definitely some coffee splatters on the back, but not too bad. I did wipe down the bottom drip tray uh, every so often, but I tried not to do it too much. And let's check the top. Not too bad, the top is pretty clean. Maybe you can see a few pieces of uh, coffee grounds, but otherwise, this machine is actually very easy to keep clean. And I have to say, during this entire experiment, I did not feel any need to clean the machine. Now, if I wanted to clean the machine, it'd actually be very simple. I could take a wet rag if I was just wanting to do a quick clean, or I have some stainless steel cleaner, some all-purpose cleaner that I use as well that I could um, wipe it down with and get it really nice and shiny. But again, part of this experiment was to see if uh, how dirty the machine could get and if I could go five days without cleaning it, and I think it's true, I can. So either this machine is uniquely clean or I do not have any sense of what's dirty or not, and certainly no OCD. Anyway, I'd love to hear about your machine. Does it get dirty? Does it bother you? Do you clean it every day or maybe once a week? Uh, post your comments below. Let me know your experiences. And uh, just keep in mind, the best espresso you make is always the one that you pull.